Hi there, I'm Scott and I work at Aerobotics as a junior data scientist. So my role is working as a junior data scientist and it's essentially um, helping the senior guys out. Um, so doing simpler tasks but also being allowed to dive into some of the AI models that we built at Aerobotics. So I joined back in October of 2018 when I was um, finishing up my honours degree in Geoinformatics and I joined as an agronomy intern first actually working specifically with labelling machine learning data and I think a combination of that and my honours project led me to become more interested in machine learning and machine learning models and AI and yeah actually after that moving over to the data science team and helping out there. Um, it's a tough question. I'd definitely say it's a combination of two things. So one is definitely the company culture and the feeling that you actually want to come to work and you're actually coming to work to do really awesome things and build really cool products that are helping farmers. And the other thing is the, the really cool structure and the ability to have really good mentors to help me learn and develop my skills in the data science field. I would definitely have to say the front end team. I know like we work a lot with a lot of back end stuff and and it's really hard to sort of identify when your product is done. And I think like working and learning like what the front end developers are doing. It definitely gives you a different perspective of actually what the client sees, how the client interacts with the product and not just providing them with like model outputs that, are, that not many people could sort of interpret or understand. So I definitely think learning and sort of working with the front end team would definitely be another department that I'd be interested in. Um, I definitely have to say the yield product because that's just a biased interpretation because I've been I've been working on it for so long and I definitely I definitely think it's going to change the way that farmers look at yield and definitely hopefully increase the the amount of farmers that do now that will now do yield prediction and and also sort of like create the standardized way of sort of estimating yield and sort of helping farmers identify at what stages they need to sort of do like chemical interventions or specifically what market they're sort of looking at when they're sort of um, identifying how much yield they're going to get at the end of the year. Um, probably mercury so I can actually get outside and get a tan. That's, that's definitely what I would 